most of ever easy. Hugh Down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome, one and all, to Over Easy, where we look into a variety of ways of making the most of our later years. Our first guest today, stage and screen star Gloria DeHaven, has done so much with her talents and energy and enthusiasm over the years, both on and off the screen. Gloria visited us last season on Over Easy, and we are delighted to have her with us again today to chat. Former Social Security Commissioner Robert Ball is also with us again today for some important information about the reductions in your Social Security benefits while you continue to work. And a little later on, Dr. Ernest Siegel is going to explain how to select and care for tropical fish in your own home aqua aquarium. You remember Dr. Siegel helped, helped us set up an aquarium uh, earlier, and now we're going to stock it. Since her screen debut at the age of nine in Charlie Chaplin's classic, Modern Times, Gloria DeHaven has made more than 25 motion pictures and appeared in countless musicals, Broadway productions, television shows. In recent years, Gloria has devoted much of her time to helping victims of cerebral palsy and to the protection of endangered animals. Her spirit and vitality are a part of everything she does, including the appearances that she's been making across the country on behalf of Overeasy. And it's my great pleasure to welcome once again Miss Gloria De Haven. Thank you. Good to have you back. Oh, so nice to be. Thank you. So nice to be back. There was fog in Burbank. Oh. I hear you. She almost didn't make it. You know, it's the funniest thing in the world to be making a trip that takes 45 minutes and have it take five take hours. Five hours. <laughs> really? the time. It's that time of year. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, last time you were here, I remember we talked about. In fact, that you, you said that you considered yourself a late bloomer mm. in that even though you were successful early, early on, you didn't arrive at full potential until, until recently. And that you, you told me that you felt better about yourself and your life at this stage than you had at any time in the past. I love this time. It's still right. going up, is it? I love it. Good. It's getting better every day. I absolutely love it. I think it's because I'm more comfortable with me. You is know, that I, a source of trouble? People just uh -huh. aren't, aren't happy oh, with yes. their own oh, self? Oh, yes, yes. I was very, um, uh, I'm still, I'm very honest, I'm still growing. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm still very insecure in certain things, you know, very insecure about myself. But it's getting but so much better. that's part of the growth, isn't it? Of I mean, course, and it's of getting everything. so much better. All of a sudden, you know, I, I, I it was happening in, in, be very honest with you, it was happening in the makeup room. You know, I rushed in because it was late and I got in. Now, typical woman, you know, typical woman, I wanted everything to be all right. And I was like, oh, I don't want my hair. And then all of a sudden I stopped and I said, oh, isn't that sick? It's fine. It's fine. You know, and I, I accept it. Now, normally I would have carried on and carried on because you really are business, as you well know. It's very difficult for a woman if the ladies out there have no idea. If you're not satisfied with the way you look in the mirror when you're just going out, you can imagine what it is to be 53 and a half years old and having been in the movies and television and all kinds of things for a long time and you look in the mirror and you, you don't look the way you looked a long time ago. You really don't. Nobody does. But we're so concerned about our image. I mean, show people. You know, how you look in front of the public. And all of a sudden it's getting to be now with me where if I like what I see in the mirror, and I'm getting to like yeah. it more every day, then I kind of feel everybody else is going to go along and with it. I you know, all the panic seems to be... It must seems be, to be sound. Yeah, it I seems to be leaving, and I'm, I'm happier with me. And I, I am able to say no where I wasn't able to before because I was afraid someone wouldn't like me if I said, no, I can't accept that engagement. Yeah. They won't like me. You know? Now I just say, you want to know something? I want to clean my drawers. Or I, I, or, or I, yeah. I, I want to write some letters. I hope you understand. And if they don't, then that's their problem. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's, that's true. their that's problem. True. Well, I think it's remarkable, though, that you, you, you're learning maybe at a faster rate than you did when you were blocked by some oh, yes. of the folly of oh, extreme sure. youth. Of course, of course. Yeah. And we, we, were, we were, you know, we were taught uh, so many, uh, I had to undo a lot. Let's put it that way. I, I really guess did. everybody does. Yeah, you know, I had to undo a lot. On the business of learning things, now you've been, I mentioned earlier that you've been doing touring on behalf of Over Easy, and I for which we you. really are grateful. It's a Fantastic. marvelous thing. What did you learn then about people's feelings across the country, the people that you ran across about aging in our society? It was extraordinary. It was so mixed. It was extraordinary. Um, the, the people who had not seen the show and saw it for the first time were like, where has this been? You know, where, you know, they were so elated to know that there was something that they could tune in and would be there for them. And they were 
just thrilled. The ones who had been regular watchers of the show said, it won't ever end. Well, I mean, it's going to stay on, isn't it? It's always going to be there, isn't it? Because it was overdue, and I kept saying that on the road. The show was overdue. It was. It really it was. was. You know that better than anyone. Ago. Yes, yeah. a long time ago. And people now have, I found people with, through the show, they've been finding directions. They've been finding options. They've been finding paths for themselves, things to do, places to go, and finding their lives so much more interesting. You know, if you don't listen to other people's experiences, and even my very own, I would talk to some people about my own experiences, and one woman said to me, you're sure you're in show business? And she was really fine. She was in her 70s. And she said, you're sure you're in show business? And I said, I don't know what you mean. She said, well, I don't know. I have the same thing happening to me all the time. I just didn't recognize it as me. And this, it was her very own life. All the things I was saying that bothered me with my children, with my grandchild, with my uh, traveling, with my home life, with not being able to cope one day and another day being able to cope. She That's was one of the one of the problems about being in show business is that, that people I... don't think that the people have the same feelings as of they course, do. Of course, but she know, was so cute because she was a wonderful That's, lady. That's marvelous. You have we also talked last time you were here about the, about the family and everything and your experiences and relationships and whatnot. And uh, what are your feelings now on, on uh, regarding relationships like marriage? Would you remarry at this point if? if you, now that's a good. You you're three, saying yeah. would I remarry or do I want to? Now that's you know what, kind of a different. Yeah, um, well, I'll, I'll put it this way. It's really a different you, question. You know, right people say, things. do you want to remarry? Yeah, you're not screwing um, out trying. No, to I'm not really that interested in remarrying. I'm settled into my life now. But would I? Well, who knows? Tomorrow, if something magic isn't going to happen to me, and I'm going to meet that very lovely gentleman who understands me, which is going to be very difficult. <laughs> you know, because I'm kind of crazy. But and uh, and I admit it. I can't, I can't imagine that you'd be difficult to... Well, I am, though. I'm, I'm um, emotional, very emotional. Well, that's... Very emotional. Um, I, I'm full of uh, moody, let's put it that full of a lot of moods. You know, I never know how I'm going to wake up, you know, what it's going to be. That would be hard for someone to live with. But now I know that's me. And it would be a very special person. And if that special person should come into my life, of course I would grab onto it and be very happy for the... Because I would love companionship. I really would. I would like male companionship. It would be wonderful. But on the other hand, I'm not pining at all. I do a lot you know, of things, a, and I'm, I'm a happy person. That might know? be a better basis for establishing a relationship. And this would apply to anybody, uh, except the, the very young, that if you have arrived at that point where you are comfortable with yourself, and find somebody who is similarly comfortable with himself, and still on that basis want to team up, mm -hmm. It seems to me it has a lot better chance for success than people who are uh, full of the uh, clinging, sticking Absolutely, together. but what is very young? You see, you just said something. You, find, you said, except for the very uh, young. I'm thinking people in I am very years. young at times. Oh. Ridiculously so. I mean, my own children, you know, will say to me, my youngest, I have them from 33 to 16, and my, uh, my uh, youngest, who is 16, will say to me, just come on now, you know, just, well, you know, shape up. She wants me to shape up. You know, oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> a 16 year old daughter. No, but not that kind of shape up. I mean, stop clowning. Some of her friends will come over and I'll decide to do something dumb. You know, and I'll say, have, you know, I don't know, there'll be some music playing and I'll do some dumb thing. And she'll, she gets, you know, she'll say, please, you're supposed to be, you know, I'd like you to be a little, and she doesn't really mean it, but the Something point is. Something frivolous, you really yes, yeah. yes. But look, she, I don't know if they can see this. Would you, I mean, from a 16 year old girl, well, to this get this a as a Christmas present? Can oh, you see what yeah, that says? Nice. Can you that see what it says? It yeah. says, spoil oh, me. spoil me, that's <laughs> yeah. that adorable spoil my daughter me. gave <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It says, spoil me. That's it shows you the kind of rotten kid I have. Well, but cute. if you can do what, <laughs> what you apparently have done, is to retain youthfulness, by, but still shedding the folly uh, of, of youth. You I think you, youth can be very... It's very wearing. Folly, it's very yeah. wearing. It's very tiring. And I'm so glad it's, it's, it's that part of the youth is gone. Yeah. I'm relaxing and enjoying this time of my life much more. Uh, I do have the frivolous moments, of course. But there's a beauty and a, a, a serenity and a, I don't know, a, a wonderful time for me right now where I can, I can really appreciate people and life and uh, I can laugh openly, I can cry openly, I can do anything I doggone want to do, you know, That's and not have to apologize it. to anyone. You've got it made. I hope you come back here from time to time. I, I would love it. I would love it. Right. Thank, thank you for your good work and on our And please behalf. do this forever and ever. It's such a wonderful show and you're just thank a, you, a fabulous man. Glory to heaven. Thank you.